Terrorism on the other side of the globe hitting close to home. Earlier today, we learned Sunday's attack on the Intercontinental Hotel in Kabul, Afghanistan, resulted in the death of former Fox 13 TV news reporter Glenn Selig. News Channel 8's Chip Lasowski joining us now live from Selig's office on Northdale. And Chip, Glenn made a name for himself in public relations after he left Fox 13, he even stayed active in his community. What a, what a terrible loss. And he was among 22 Americans killed in that attack. Yeah, it was really horrible, Keith. Uh, Glenn Selig had a lot of friends here in the TV market, including me. Uh, after he left TV, he started his own PR firm, Public Relations. It was a very successful agency that had him traveling the globe. Images from an Afghanistan hotel attack, seemingly a world away. We had no idea how close to home this would hit for many of us. It is an absolutely gorgeous night here in Dubai. Uh, so nice I decided to go ahead and take a walk. Today we learn Glenn was one of those killed this weekend at that hotel. His family and firm issuing a statement saying in part, quote, Glenn was a tireless professional, loyal friend, and pillar of the community. But most importantly, he was a loving husband and a wonderful father. It was gut-wrenching to hear that news. News Channel 8 photographer Jamie Cook used to work with Glenn and is finding this news hard to stomach. To hear that he said one of your co-workers or former co-workers was killed in Kabul just in a hotel doing his job is, you know, unbelievable to me. After his TV news career, Glenn went on to do big things in public relations, representing clients such as former Illinois Governor Rod Blagojevich and Drew Peterson, a former police officer accused in the disappearance of his wife, his last Facebook video telling all of us he felt safe and was doing well. I uh, just wanted to check in and let everybody know that things are going great here and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. And Glenn leaves behind a wife and two children. We did stop by the synagogue where he was president, and uh, members there were very upset, we understand, and uh, didn't want to talk. Keith. Certainly understand that as well. Thank you, Chip Osowski, reporting live tonight.